Looking back over the second half of the 20th century, um, we can begin to see that psychology completely failed to give us any real understanding of the person. Uh, it's, it's really rather remarkable. What happened in psychology in the 20th century was lots of competing schools appeared. Freudians, Jungians, integrationists, people who followed the uh, ideas of NLP, um, all sorts of different ideas about how the person works. But in the 21st century, we've begun to understand that actually the brain is the master controller of all our behaviour. And that is giving us the possibility of creating a quite different kind of explanation and understanding for the way human beings work at work. And it's got bigger implications for society, politics, education, sports, and so on in general. But my particular focus is in uh, how people are at work. And the very interesting thing is that we now begin to understand that the human being is, um, like all other physical systems in the universe, a mass of energy, and that energy is controlled by the brain. Uh, and so if we could understand how the brain works, we could begin to understand a great deal more about how people bring their energy to work. And in bringing their energy to work, how they focus that and direct it, and what affects it, and why sometimes it's a very low ebb, and why is it that organisations want to so control people, uh, tell them what to do, tell them how to be, make them fit into processes that this remarkable capacity we have to adapt and to see things and to be creative gets often squashed out of existence. So uh, we wrote the book called The Fear Free Organization to begin to explore those kinds of ideas and see if we could begin to talk about organizations that are based upon energy that flows. And of course in the end it's only energy that creates profit. The way human energy has been focused in organisations, produces the results. How could we do that in a way that people really want to be in the organisation, not just because it pays them, but because it is part of the satisfaction of their life? That's what this book is about.